Well, we are at the famous, extraordinaire, awesome James Brown's Gumbo House and Grill, and he joins us. And of course, everybody wants to check in with JB and see how he's doing. James, what's up? How have you been? Hey, you, Nicole. Good to see you. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. I'm waiting for all my Christmas presents to come in. Waiting for your Christmas presents to come in? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. I've been good this year. Oh, oh, this year. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, she wasn't last year. What I was working with you last year. I, I was know. very, I was very sweet to you. Maybe like two or three years ago, didn't oh, get that many presents. Yeah, well, yeah, we all have skeletons, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> One bone just fell out, dropped on the ground. Yeah, that's it. That's all it. right, so we're at the restaurant, and I understand that it has just been awesome, blowing up, and of course, people just coming in all the time. It's great. Yeah, I had a, a, a note left for me yesterday that uh, some folks came in from South Africa. Yeah, just to try the restaurant out, the Gumbo House. No, yeah. they were here for something, I'm sure. But uh, they came in from South Africa. They left me a note. We loved it. It was excellent, South Africa. And I was like, wow, man. All we need now is Santa from the North Pole, and this is pretty much a done deal. Yeah, I don't think Santa's going to come visit you this year, but we'll see. So. But I'll tell him about the Gumbo House and Grill when he comes <laughs> to my house. No, that's true. And, you know, we've got fresh gumbo. We have a, a buffet uh, for Monday through Friday, 11 to 2, for people that work around here. And uh, they can come in and get fed real quick. We all has, always have some good home cooking, some good soul food cooking, like mustard greens and cornbread. And today is gonna be uh, Creole pork chops and barbecue sausage links and things like that. And then all of the vegetables that go with it. Yeah, and I know one thing that people do love about this is that you can, if you really are in a hurry on your lunch break, of course, you know, you can get the buffet, but also you guys cook things to order as well. Oh yeah, we do. And matter of fact, one of the, the big sampler platters that we had on last time the JB trio sampler platter that went over really really yeah. big and um, the fish tacos are very fast and, and pretty quick um, uh, another big dish that goes out a lot is called the JB catfish etouffee platter that just sounds good doesn't yeah. it yeah it's oh it is good now I'm gonna take a whole catfish fillet okay. and I'm gonna drop it in the in the fryer and it as, as you know, it only takes a little couple of minutes to do that, but what, while we're doing that, we'll get this ready to okay. go over here. What it is, it's the JB Catfish Etouffee Platter is a bed of white rice on a platter like this. There we go. And then we lay that either fried or grilled piece of catfish right on top and then what we do is we ladle over it a uh, either shrimp etouffee or crawfish etouffee mm -hmm. right on top. And you better be hungry if you're coming in for one of these because it's big. It's all there. And a lot of people have to take a little bit of it home. Some of these guys say, "Oh man, I, I didn't. I don't want to take it home, but I sure don't want to, you know, <laughs> leave anymore." So they'll eat it and they're like, "Oh, I got to get a wheelbarrow out of here now." now. How did you perfect your etouffee? Etouffee is, uh, you know, it's a it's a roux base, and then I add some tomato product to mine. Not everybody has tomato product in their etouffee, but my recipe that I made up, oh, I don't know, probably 30 years ago, I still use it today, but I incorporate it where I can make a double batch of crawfish and shrimp etouffee and separate them, then put the crawfish in one and the shrimp in the other, and I still have both etouffees ready to go. And it only, and I, I do it by heart now every yeah. morning, a big, big old double batch of it every morning. Yeah, you don't even have to say, you know, okay, I put this amount in, this amount in. You just kind of know by sprinkle it in. No, actually, I, I measure everything. Oh, you do measure Yeah, everything. because okay. I have all my recipes written down. That way, if I'm not here, Kristen or somebody, Dawn, one of the other cooks, Jackie, will be able to do the recipe just like I do it at home. Yeah, so you can always get that same, that same flavor. Exactly, exactly. Let's check on our fish real okay. quick. Because it's pretty close to being, oh yeah. Ooh. That's a beautiful filet of catfish. And that's that's a whole filet right there. Or, you know, half of a filet. Half a catfish, rather. And of course, all your stuff is all fresh. Oh yeah, it's always, always good. And what we do is, we, excuse me, I'm sorry. Bring that over here, lay that right on top, just like that. Oh, here comes the fun part. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Some crawfish etouffee. Oh, look at that. Look at all those crawfish in there. A little bit more. And that goes really good with the rice and with the fish. And that's a whole plate, a whole platter right there. But, I mean, you better be hungry if you want 
Oh, Jeremy's got his eye on that one too. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's like, yeah. not even taking the camera off of it. You know, one thing I was going to say is I am sure after this airs, a lot of people are going to come. I want that crawfish etouffee. Oh, and you know, it's delicious. It really is. And uh, we make it where it's just, you know, without the fish, of course, you can just get etouffee mm -hmm. over a bed of rice, or you can get it like this. This is the JB Catfish etouffee platter. And it's a, it's a big hit over here at the Gumbo House. All right. Well, it's always so nice to be able to check in with you and see how you're doing. We all miss you at the station. Yeah, you smell that? Mm -hmm. That does smell good. Sorry, Jeremy. I may have to take the first bite. That's no, okay. <laughs> no. Okay, you'll share that. though, right, Jeremy? I won't. No, I, <laughs> I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. <laughs> it's good to see you. Yeah, you too. And of course, I was just saying, like, we miss you at the station, but we're so glad that you're doing so well oh, and that your wonderful. restaurant is thriving. Yeah, I'm sleeping late now. I don't get up to four thirty, five o'clock now. So yeah, sleeping in. Hey, I'm sleeping in too. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> Sleep is a good thing. <laughs> it is, and it's like something that you forget about. Yeah, you know, it's but four thirty. That's still too early. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on. It. I'm trying to get a little bit later. I'm still going to bed at eight or nine at night. Yeah. Yeah. I only make it through the first half of the NFL game. Yeah, like, you wake up. Ooh, oh, I game it. over. Yeah. But, but it's okay. It's great. I love what I'm doing. I really do. I'm so happy for you, JB. And of course, thanks for chatting with us and talking. Glad you're doing all right. And of course, James Brown's Gumbo House and Grill. It's located on Main Street in Viter. Come check them out. We'll be right back after the break. Let me get that up there. Oh. Thank you.